welcome back guys welcome back to crown geek now a few days back i uploaded a video that how to clear the ram cache that basically improve the performance by clearing out the space occupied by the ram cache but many people made a comment that i should create a video that how this cache can be automatically cleared as according to them this cache get increased after few seconds or after few minutes only so in this video i will be explaining you the best way through which you can automatically clear the ram cache occupied in few simple clicks now before that if i make a right click on the windows icon and if i click on the task manager performance memory so you can see here that around 4.1 gigabyte of space has been occupied by the ram cache so in order to free out last time in the last video we used ram map but for this you will have to open it and clear the cache every time manually but the method that i will be sharing today that will be clearing the cache automatically now there is a popular a software that is empty in standby list but unfortunately the link is not working so i have a method i have a solution here what you will have to do in a new tab open google type way back machine then click on the first link here archive.org now copy this link paste in the box here hit the enter key and once it comes up you have to click on the year 2022 and then here you will see this green circle you have to click on it then click on this date so basically what exactly this is doing as the website is not working right now so we are going back to the previous stage when the website was working fine so now you can see that we are able to see the website now here you can see the download link you need to click on it and this will be downloaded okay so now once it's been downloaded we will have to create a task scheduler so that this application can run the task every five minutes okay for that click on your windows search type task from the suggestion choose task scheduler now here you have to click on create task and you can name it like ram cache cleaner whichever you want whatever you want to and then click on change user or group now here click on advanced and then click on find now now here from the list we have to find system so once you get it double click on it and it will be selected then click on ok and here at the bottom you will find an option run with highest privileges so you need to check this option and just make sure that you follow all these steps carefully or else it will not work properly and then below only you will find configure for so you need to click on the drop down and choose windows 10 in case if you are using windows 10 or 11 if you are using windows 7 then you can go with windows 7 or windows vista whichever option is available i am using windows 11 so i will go with windows 10 option and then from the top menu option only click on triggers then click on new and here in the advanced setting where it says repeat task every one hour you have to choose it to five minutes and for a duration of so if you want that it should run for the next 30 days or one year you have to select it but i will just select the indefinitely option so that it should not end and then make sure at the bottom here the enabled option has been checked then click on ok then from the top menu option click on actions click on new now here you have to browse that empty standby list software that we just downloaded so i will select it and then click on ok click on ok and you are all set so now basically we have set our task scheduler that will be running every five minutes and it will be clearing the ram cache automatically and we don't have to do anything manually all right so in order to show you if i again bring up my task manager so right now you can see it's around 4.3 gigabyte so i will wait here for another five minutes and show you that it will be automatically clearing the ram cache okay and now you can see this automatically was being reduced to 300 mb from 4.2 gigabyte so as soon as the five minute will pass away 
the RAM cache will be automatically cleared. So this is how exactly it will work. So you just have to configure this for one time and the benefit will be always. So hopefully guys, this will be really useful for you. And if you found this video helpful, then do not forget to like and subscribe. If you have any kind of question, let me know in the comment section. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.